Hey, I'm Jack Gately, owner of the Online Real Estate Academy and uh, Jack Gately Real Estate. And I was so happy uh, to be called by uh, another real estate company and they wanted to talk with me about how, the, how we could work together to help new agents. And I get contacted quite a bit by other real estate companies who are looking to see if I can you know, channel every single last student that comes to my school to them. And in most of those discussions, there's not really a lot on the table about how they're gonna serve the agent. And so as the owner of the real estate school, I'm asked like constantly about career advice and becoming a successful agent is actually not part of real estate school. Uh, being a knowledgeable agent, being an ethical agent, that is part of real estate school, but not necessarily becoming um, successful. So when I had this opportunity to uh, have my two guests in the office to kind of chat for the next few minutes here, um, I, I just jumped on it. I was really, really happy and um, pleased to bring you today from the uh, Weikert affiliate of Hudson Morgan Group, uh, Lauren Joseph and Natasha, let's see if I can get this right, Shabante? Shabani, but Shabani. I'll give you that one. I'll give uh, you that. Yeah, <laughs> it's a tough you. one. Thanks thank for you. having us. Thank, really you, yes. thank you, Lauren, and thank you, Natasha. Thank you so much for coming. So um, let's just jump right into it. I wanted to kind of ask you folks, since Hudson Morgan's been in business for about three and a half years, and Weikert has a reputation for definitely focusing on new agents, uh, both at Hudson Morgan and you know company wide. And later on, I'm going to ask you kind of different to differentiate between the two. But you know, right off the bat, you just tell me what what do you think are, and maybe I'll even share my thought after that. But what do you think uh, are the kind of the top characteristics of um, of working with agents? and especially new agents, what, what's going to make them tick? And why don't we actually have uh, Natasha answer that. You handle the recruiting at Hudson Morgan. And just to be clear, Lauren Joseph is the head trainer there. All right, Natasha, yes. so, so recruit, um, from a recruiting point of view, what a, do you look for? Yeah, from a recruiting point of view, right off the bat, you know, when I'm having those phone calls with potential new agents, um, just the ability to have a natural, authentic conversation on the phone, being personable, um, and being comfortable in speaking with strangers. Um, from there, it's anyone that's ever had the inkling of, oh, you know, my friends are in real estate, I've thought about real estate, or I want to get into sales, I'm not sure what industry I want to get into. Um, that's kind of at the basic level. As far as what we've seen to be successful new agents. And some, some ambition in there is Yes, important. definitely ambition. Absolutely. Thank you, Jack. Um, I'd say the top characteristics we've come to identify. Um, one, we want to say persistence, you know, someone that is continuing in the activities that they're doing in the volume and not being bogged down by, you know, things that aren't creating um, perhaps action. Um, the second I'd say is resilience, um, again, along the same lines of just continuing and not being uh, turned off by anything that falls through the loop, um, staying positive. Uh, I'd say the last thing is just being patient. Um, that was on my list. It was on? Okay, Did you read good. My notebook? Oh, I can, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but yeah, patience is key because at the end of the day, again, it's it's a, it's a sales-oriented business. So you have to be, again, persistent, consistent with the action that you're putting in, but staying patient with it's going to come around and just keeping that, building that muscle of activity. I think it really, it's almost like a yin and yang of urgency. I got to do stuff today, but I'm also going to realize that this is not something that's going to pay off this month or this maybe even this quarter. Exactly. Especially as a new agent, yes. and also you know whether you're getting in this at 22 or 42 or 52, you still have this is a career opportunity. This is not like stocking shelves at the grocery store. This is something that you can really make money from for the long term. Yes. You kind of have to have that outlook. But that was really interesting to hear you say those words. Those are really good: patience, resilience, yeah. and understanding. You know, it's not gonna. It's not going to happen right off the bat. Do you have some agents that happen like? I would like to say it's luck sometimes. <laughs> well, you know, combined with hard work too. But it's not a business where things fall into your lap. You have to seek them. You know, it's really about trolling upstream and and cutting off your competitors rather than waiting downstream and letting the business come to you. Because if you're waiting downstream, it's just going to be all those leftovers. 
Okay. So in, in regards to these characteristics, how does someone kind of like self audit themselves to see if they're actually gonna make it? Um, when you ask them what they've done before or how do you kind of get a sense whether that this person is gonna be successful or not? I mean, that's always been a difficulty for me for, for hiring agents and, and sometimes I've been surprised I've hired somebody and they're like, yeah, I'm like, uh, and then they are awesome. Yeah. And then, so. Um, when I'm having conversations with people, I think what I've identified, one, again, going back to someone that just enjoys having conversations with people. That's a key thing. It's relationship building. You know, people like to work with people that they like and that they trust. Um, so that, you know, just being... Um, in integrity and I know it's hard to identify right off the bat um, but someone that comes off honest authentic and is comfortable with sharing their story um, the other side of it is I think there's uh, you know a big difference between some a salesperson and let's say you know an admin or someone in marketing where a salesperson they have the drive they want to make money and they're not afraid to go out and get what they want um, so that's that's a big thing that I've identified as far as, you know, I've always considered sales, but I don't know what industry or I'm not sure just how to get started and they just need a little bit of guidance. And this is really not a job. It's more like an opportunity. And so there are some startup costs. It's almost like your your, your own little like private startup company. But what are the, uh, other than the cost to get licensed and that type of thing, but what are some of the costs that people, or if we want to properly use it, investments in your own career, that you really can't avoid, and then maybe some optional ones. Yeah, well, our office offers no desk fees, no admin fees, no technology fees. We don't charge paper fees for any printing or copying, um, like some other offices out there do. So no monthly fees. Every agent is responsible for their quarterly MLS dues. The MLS is an invaluable tool in this industry that every agent should have. Um, and, and we are a realtor office, so our agents are also realtors. That's and a significant expense. It is. It is. It is a $500 annual expense. Um, it's a specific designation where you're able to leverage and market yourself as a realtor. There's other membership services um, that come along with being, and benefits that come along with being a realtor. It actually does lower your uh, quarterly MLS dues to $87 a quarter. And all of these things can be written off at the end of the year as That's an business independent. Expenses. Exactly. I think a lot of new agents that maybe have been just, you know, W9 employees right. are, haven't gotten their head wrapped around. And actually, that gives me a great idea of somebody new to interview. I should interview like a tax consultant. Oh, yeah. Um, so these are expenses, but they're also tax deductible. That's right. And from the quarterly fee on the MLS, it's a little bit easier because you don't have to write that big check all at once. Exactly. It's a, you know, a little bit more bite-sized. Right. Now, you're a Weikert affiliate. It's Hudson Morgan Group. We should also say that you specialize in things in, that, in the self end, although you do sell throughout Metro Boston That's area. Right. What's the difference between Weikert, which is a relatively newer brand name here in yes. Massachusetts? I don't know how long it's been. I'm just going to say, well, you could probably tell me, but seven, eight, nine years or something like that. Big in New Jersey. That's right. They're based out of New Jersey. They um, opened in 1969 by Jim Weikert, who is the founder and president today. In 2002, they decided, they decided to start franchising so that they could grow nationwide. Um, Right now, we are one of 16 Weikert offices in Massachusetts. They've been around and been relevant in Massachusetts for about 10 years now, growing our marketing and growing our presence here. We have about 16 billboards floating throughout the state right now. This fall, we're going to be in the Patriots um, game books and, and yearbook um, what, during the, all the home games, which is really exciting. So our presence and our recognition and brand is really starting to grow. So we're independently, independently owned and operated franchise of Weikert our franchise name being Hudson Morgan Group and our office is based out of the South End on the corner of Mass Ave and Washington Street. Wow, what a great location. It I is. It is, it's yeah. Exactly. So um, the agents really love the location. It's very accessible to them. We have agents who are coming from west, east, south of the city and um, they love it because 
Being affiliated with that Boston office allows them to do Boston business um, because that Boston clientele is very savvy and sophisticated and they want to work with a Boston oriented agent, but it also allows them to do business out in the suburbs and, and Metro Boston as well. I was looking, I mean, you had some, you had a listing over in Mansfield and Medfield and yeah. I mean, you get you business Even out. Even down as Plymouth. Yeah. Hey, I'm from Plymouth. Stay out of Plymouth. But I, yeah, I also am familiar with um, the Weikert in Falmouth and they do a great job yeah. and I've been working with them actually Dennis. with some dentists. And uh, they they send any number of people to our real estate school over time, and I really enjoy Dennis. Dennis is quite he's a great guy. Bright. He's my bud. We we the, all of the Wikers, um, even though they are independently owned and operated, and we internally operate differently, we rub each other's backs, and that's what's really really neat. Is our office um, right in the South End is part of a bigger group, so it is nice to have that internal culture, but also be part of Wikers. Um, I meet quarterly with a broker council and we are able to share ideas and, and Dennis and I actually quite frequently share ideas with each other. Now also from a uh, agent point of view this helps with and agents don't think about this on the front lines but there's this whole thing called compliance on the back end. Yes. It's got things have got to be done right. Yeah. And so working with a large agency uh, provide or provide you kind of have that support. So that's somebody, right. somebody in compliance, keeping an eye and make sure that nobody gets in trouble. So that's really important that that kind of institutional support that you have from a bigger agency. Uh, compared to say some of these other agencies, and we don't necessarily need to name them, but Wiker has a completely different value proposition than most other your kind of mainstream big name companies. Explain that because. I'm not the one to explain that. Maybe Natasha, you could tell us. Yeah, sure. So I think um, you know, one as we talked about Weikert, you know, being that corporate brand, um, and they've been around since the late, you know, 1969. We and how our office differentiates is we have that that corporate branding to back us up, but yet we carry ourselves as far as our office goes is like similar to a small business. Um, we have a group of 17 agents. Everyone collaborates with each other. You know, they help each other with open houses. There's real support there. So if you're looking for, again, that branding, the, the training and the tools as far as a corporate company, but yet that small office culture. Can you have us, to be, so that people that are watching, mm -hmm. listening for the first time, 17 agents is a, is a healthy number, moderate office, but it's not like oh, some of these yeah. behemoths. Where you know point. it's 180 agents or right. 210 agents or something exactly. like that. Exactly, it's nice because there's enough to go around. There's enough support. There's enough training and manpower to go around. There's enough leads that are generated that are going around. And um, let's talk about this whole lead thing. So yeah. this is something that I that I'm not as up to date on the Weikert lead situation mm -hmm. as I could have been. I kind of knew about it a little bit a couple yeah. of years ago. So. Back then, there was this call center in New Jersey, right. and is that still the case, or how things work? If you're a new agent, mm -hmm. what are you going to be doing? And is what leads? This is a lead business. That's right. So um, you might know how to fill out every single form perfectly. Who cares if you don't have any clients? Yeah. So what is it specifically that Weikert is doing to to help that new agent? So Weikert has the Weikert League Network that is based in New Jersey, and what Weikert does is they invest very, very heavily into Weikert.com annually. They're investing millions and millions of dollars into their website because they know that that's one of the first places that buyers and sellers are going, is online. So they needed a way to connect and capture these clients. So um, once the client is on Weikert.com, the client has the opportunity to contact our lead network center. It is open seven days a week. It's open 12 hours a day, and it's staffed with at least 30 inside service consultants throughout those hours. Um, the client can call asking about open house, more photos, setting up an appointment, and they're connected immediately. They can also fill out a form. If they fill out the form online, they're connected with the inside service consultant within two minutes maximum. Once they're on the phone with the service consultant, that service consultant is quickly going to scrub that client. They're going to incubate anyone that they consider to be a very cold client and they're going to maintain the follow-up until it's a warm client. If they consider that client to be warm, 
they take down the information and they transfer that buyer or that seller directly to one of our agents' phones. So new buyers on are the same connected phone call? right on that same phone call. That's wild. It's amazing because if you're driving, if you're grocery shopping, you're at the beach, you are connected live to that buyer or that seller. You don't have to worry about taking any notes because you get sent an email with the buyer or seller's phone number, email address, the property that they called on, and the phone call is actually recorded. So you can go back and listen to yourself. It's also great for <laughs> training purposes too. Right. Um, sometimes it's not so fun, but um, there's very, very strong training of how to take that call. And now you're connected with the live buyer. We actually have an agent right now who is doing transaction from the lead network. It was a buyer and seller lead. She sold their um, close to $1 million property, single family in South Boston, and is working with them to buy property as well. So through this lead network, Wyco would actually make your phone ring. That's right. Uh, that's like, I don't know any other agency that, that actually does that. Yeah. Um, I hear a lot of agencies, you know, they'll contact me, send me all your students, and they'll be like, uh, we provide leads. Really? Um, tell me about that. And then you kind of find out that it's like not really there. Yeah. You can't see me wave my hands, but uh, <laughs> if, they, if they had leads and they were good, they wouldn't just give them away. That's right. It's really nice being able to be transparent with people off the bat. So I'm able to log into our Wiker Lead Network portal and show how many leads our agents are getting and how they're working through those leads. So it's not just false promises. You can actually tangibly see those leads. And Lauren, you handle the training for Hudson Morgan. So what is, what is an agent if they were to join your agency, what what is that going to look like in the first like week or thirty days or whatever income you want to chip, so that they can hit the ground running? Um, before we started, you said that you know you handled that a lot one on one. So tell us a little bit about that. The way that we decided to handle our training is very very hands on and a very hand hand holding approach. Um, rather than kind of sitting through those webinars and so forth. Um, a lot of the training is done on that one-on-one -on -one basis throughout the first week. We're training for about 12 to 15 hours on the systems. Um, we have a lot of internal systems and then we have a lot of Wikerdized systems as well. CRMs, tools and resources, the Wikerly network, how to manage these calls. Um, we train on rentals and we train on sales. Um, I have a very strong rentals background, so I'm able to kind of give you the lay of the land of how to um, work that rental equation. And um, so agents are, are up and running and getting rental leads and, and going out on rental appointments within their first couple of days. Um, usually within the first week to two weeks, agents are getting their sales leads and they're out doing the, the sales showings. They're supporting other agents with open houses, going on the team broker open house tours, and so forth. So training is ongoing. It shouldn't just be put into a mold of, of one week or four weeks. Um, it's not just something that's going to be in a binder. It's really something that it is so personalized for each agent because they have different strengths and weaknesses. What's the number one technology tool for agents today? What's the number one thing? Within our office or just in Nationwide, general? Whatever, however you want to answer that. The MLS, I would say. Okay. You know, and there's a lot of different ways to spin that. I have a lot of seasoned agents that come over to me that don't know some of the, the tips and tools of how to use and leverage MLS. There is, it's such an invaluable tool. And um, where as far as setting up contacts and how to use that aspect of it very psychologically with your clients, setting up hot sheets um, so that you are on the top of your mailers every day, whether it's sending out expired mailers or maybe someone uh, has a hot sheet for multifamilies that people just purchased and then you send out mailers saying, I can help you write your units, you know? So 
Um, I think a lot of people have that resource at their fingertips and they're just not using it correctly because they weren't trained on how to to use it and evolve that system. In marketing 2018, what do you think? What, what, what is your favorite marketing strategy for 2018? Oh gosh, so you know what's funny is a lot of my agents are kind of going back to the grassroots of things and they've been getting a lot of great luck and hits with door knocking, believe it or not. I so, love door knocking. Oh gosh, my agents love it. It's something that you know a lot of people aren't comfortable with in great. starting. It, and let me just interrupt you real quick. That's great that everybody else is uncomfortable with yeah. it because that means it's virgin territory exactly. for the people who are willing to do it. Exactly. So, you know, I think that a lot of people are so stuck on the passive um, postcard mailing and those people are just throwing those out. You really have to put a face to the name. You have to be different. Um, sometimes it's not necessarily about being better. It's about being different. Love that. Yeah. Okay. And um, our agents, because we are, our culture is so oriented about around being a team and a family, they go and they team a door knock together. Um, we have a new agent. She has been here for about a month. She wanted to door knock and she wanted to go in her old neighborhood of Westford. So one of my agents who lives in Melrose, he's been with the company for three and a half years. He went with her and took his time to help her door knock. If you have never door knocked, it's kind of hard to do it by yourself the yeah. first time. Yeah. Um, when when I talk to agents in in, uh, in class and then afterward, um, a lot of people say, you know, okay, I'm going to get my license and take my exam next week or whatever. Jack, what should I do? And um, one of the things that I always say to them is, just, you know what, Sally or Bob or whatever, you should, you should probably go out and make like five appointments with different agencies and kind of see what's out there. Um, and, and don't make any commitments and actually just kind of soak it in and, and think about what is the good location, what is the good uh, comp plan, what is the, what is the good vibe, and, and all of those different things. And some of those things are going to matter differently to different people, but really just soak it all up and then, and then make a decision. So if they were going to put you on that list of people to... Um, to, to get interviewed and as I say to most of the folks that didn't remember now um, you're the kind of the one doing the interviewing uh, you're kind of hiring them so uh, most of my real estate school students that kind of it takes them a second to kind of get that wrapped around their head that most of your agencies almost every agent would be oh you have a license great uh, let's throw it up on the wall and, and see what happens so uh, really expect that you gotta go out and, and be f to know that you're in the right place, the best way to find that out is actually to talk to a couple of different people. Or if I can put it this in a real estate kind of, to know that you found the right home or the right apartment, you only know that after you've seen the crappy apartment and in the house that you don't wanna buy. Uh, it's almost worse on the showings. When you show somebody the perfect house and it's the first house you show them, then you're like, then they didn't know how good it was. I did just happen to me too. I was just about to buy an airline ticket and I looked at it and I said, oh, that's way too expensive. And then of course I went back to it four days later and I was like, what? Oh, it's like almost like, it's like went up 50% and then I didn't take the trip. So if they were gonna put you on the list, who would they contact here? Natasha or how, and how would they get in touch with you? Yeah, so um, they could reach out to me or we have a website as well, which oh, Jack, I know go, you're go hosting right as well. What is it? Um, it is Weicker.com. And then you can go find Hudson Morgan Group through the corporate website. Hudson Morgan Group in the South End on Washington Street at the corner yes, of Mass sir. Ave. Yep. And we're here with, um, let me get this right here, Lauren Joseph, who's the head of training, and Natasha Shabani. Yes. All sir. right. Yes, that's who it. Is uh, head of recruiting at Hudson Morgan Group Weikert Realtors. Thank you so much for coming. I'm really glad that you're here. And uh, anything else you want to just add in? I think it's great. Thank you so much yeah, for having thank us you here. Thank you so much, Jack. We'd love to meet and talk to some of you. Yeah, you guys, don't be shy. Come on out. Um, shoot me an email. Give me a call or just show up at our office and we'd love just, to talk to you. Just, just walk Honestly, right in. Honestly, yeah. yeah. Well, there's a buzzer. We'll, you know, give us a name. We'll do a quick background check, but no. Um, <laughs> no, and, and Jack, you make a very good point. You guys are interviewing us just as much as, you know, I guess you could say we're interviewing you, but it's, a, it's around finding that right fit. And when you walk out of those offices, you know, listen to your intuition because it's usually right so 
Thanks for coming. Hey, Thank you guys. All right, let's do it. Thank you. Thank you.